Father in the service. Oh God, I implore you, Jesus. Oh God, you see the needs. God, you hear that heart's cry. God, that prayer request that somebody, Lord, can only tell you about. Lord, you see it. Oh God. Oh God, that troubled mind, Lord. Oh God, sometimes, Lord, these old storms in our lives, God. Oh Lord, it looks so desperate, Lord. But Jesus, Lord, we seen God, a man of God, Lord. He was on a ship, Lord, out in a storm, fourteen days and fourteen nights. But God, you knew exactly where he was. Lord, an angel flew right into that hurricane, right to the Apostle Paul, Lord. Lord, he said, sir, to be a good cheer for the angel of the Lord. And stood me with me tonight, Lord. God, you know how to settle old storms, Lord. You know how to bring us out on the other side, Lord. Oh, that will God fix every case, God. That old body that's racked with pain, God. Lord Jesus, there could be a miracle here tonight, Lord. Jesus, wherever you is, Lord, there's miracles, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, I feel you, Jesus. Oh, God. I feel your presence, Lord. I feel you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, I don't know, Jesus, but God, I just feel you, Lord. I feel you here on this tip tonight, Lord. Don't let us look past this moment, this service, God, that is waiting here, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, we don't realize what a great opportunity it is, Lord. Oh, God, there's people starving to death spiritually, Lord. Lord, we've been given the best of the best, God. We've sat under some of the greatest ministers. Oh, God, there's churches that don't even have prayer. They don't even have an altar call. Oh, Lamb of God, if you pray, they think something's wrong. Yeah, there's something wrong. I need mean, Jesus. Oh, God, that we see, Lord. You went and visited Martha and Mary. God, you went to their house, Lord. But Martha couldn't see what a great privilege and an honor to have the Son of God sitting in her house. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, can't we see tonight the honor? The privilege to feel your presence that you come by. Whoa, God, she was worried about everything else, Lord. Oh, but Mary recognized, my God, this is the Son of God visiting us. This is the Son of God sitting here in my living room. I don't care what's going on anywhere else. What I got in here. Why he's sitting here with me, I'm going to get what I need. Oh, God, help us to be like Mary, Lord. God, Martha went to you and said, Jesus, make her quit paying attention to you. Quit making her praise you. Make her come help me over here. Jesus, you said, Martha, Martha, you're worried about much. You're covered about with much. But Mary chose that good part. My Lord Jesus, help us choose that good part tonight, Lord. Get our minds focused, Lord, on you. Oh, God, we just thank you. Hallelujah. We just praise you, Lord. We worship you, Lord. We magnify you. Oh, you're worthy. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb. Oh, Lord, you're worthy tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's, let's appreciate the Lord. How many appreciate Him tonight? Oh, lift your hands to Him and tell Him, Lord, I appreciate you. Oh, you're a wonderful Savior. You're a deliverer. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, as they're getting ready to come. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, just get your minds upon Him. Hallelujah. I feel Him. He's near. Let Him know what you have need of tonight. I know Brother Brian needs Him, but I need Him too. I know Sister Lyle needs him, but I need him too. There's enough of him to go around tonight. Hallelujah for all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Brother Jody. Praise God. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank God. Come on, lift your hands toward heaven tonight. Thank God. Just begin to worship the Lord. Praise God. Thank God. Another time, another opportunity to lift up the name of Jesus. Can you say amen?
Thank God. Ain't you glad you're here tonight? Praise God. Thank God. Knowing the name of Jesus. Knowing there's no other name that man can be saved but the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank God we can be on the other side today. Thank God we're on this side looking out, stood outside looking in. Praise God. Don't that mean something tonight? Praise God. I tell you what, when you got to thank God you know where you're going. Praise God. Thank God you got your directions. Praise the Lord. You got your mindset where you're going. Thank God ain't nothing can change it. Ain't that right? God, you got your route picked out. Thank God you know there's so many routes to get to so many different places today. Praise God. But come on, somebody say there ain't but one way tonight to get to Jesus. Ain't that right? Thank God. Praise God tonight. You know, Mama can pray for you. Daddy can pray for you. Grandma can pray for you. Thank God. But when you get down on your knees and you just begin to talk to Jesus for yourself. Praise God. I tell you what, it makes a difference tonight, don't it? Thank God. So if you can just lift your hands tonight and just begin to tell the Lord what you have need of. Thank God. You know, Brother Reed preached in here last night. Thank God. How he found Lord faithful. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Thank God he got his family in. Praise God. I've been thinking about that. Praise the Lord. Thank God just being faithful to the Lord. Thank God not being faithful. Thank God to the man, but being faithful to Jesus. Somebody say amen. Thank God. I believe when you're faithful to the Lord, to God, you'll be faithful to the man or woman of God. Ain't that right? Praise God. Come on and say amen tonight. Praise the Lord. So come on tonight and just be faithful unto the Lord. And give your praises to God tonight. Give your worries to the Lord. My Lord, because Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I call all men unto repentance. Thank God. I just read it for myself. He said, you ask, and it shall be given. If you are not, the door will be open unto you. Ain't that right? Praise God. So tonight, if you'll just begin, my God, to say, Lord, I have need of whatever you have need of. I said, God will meet that need, won't he? I said, God will meet that need. Did you know the Lord said that he didn't have no respect to person? He said, but this right here, what I say on the one, I say on the all. Ain't that right? Praise God. I don't think there's going to be no shortcut in this thing. Thank God it's still going to be the same way. Thank God to take out it back again. Thank God that we're going to get it today. Ain't that right? Thank God get it for yourself. Praise God. Get on your knees. Amen. Thank God you know the Lord that with me. I still want to lay down and pray. God say, get up, get on your knees. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. So when you kneel before the Lord, thank God that you get there and you raise your hands. Praise God. It's like, Lord, I'm surrendering all right now. Praise God. Come on and lift your hands all over this place and say, Lord, I surrender all tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. And Sister O'Shevin's getting ready to come. Thank God. I want you to get in and my God help us tonight. Praise God. It ain't all on one person. Thank God. But if you'll get in and just clap your hands. Thank God. Just worship the Lord. I'm not asking you to worship the singer. Thank God. But worship the one. Thank God has brought you here. Thank God. Praise God. But it feels good when somebody shouts amen. Thank God. That's since you got one on your side. Ain't that right? Or if you just put your hands together. Thank God. If you don't sit down, at least you can do is sit down and pat your foot. Ain't that right? Praise God.
more time for it. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Jesus.
got victory tonight. Come on, put your foot on the devil's head and say, I got victory tonight. Thank God if you ain't got it, say, I've been to get it. Ain't that right? Come on tonight, say, I got victory tonight. And if you ain't got it, say, I've been to get it. Praise God. Say, I ain't going to leave you the same way I've come. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in the Word of God, Jesus said, I cleansed him. Ten boys with lips. Amen. Thank God. You know, there was one that turned back when he realized that he was clean. And he went back and he told the Lord, thank you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This is the reason why I know God is all he wants is the praise. He turned and he looked and he said, where did I cleanse ten of them? He said, but where's the other nine? Thank God. I don't want to be in that nine tonight. Thank God, I want to be like that boy, can you say me in? That just says, thank you, Lord. Thank God, you know, so many times God heals. God meets our need. Come on. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God that we, we get so caught up and we run right on. But we never take that time to say thank you. We never turn back and just say, Lord, thank you. Thank you, Lord. You know, that, that thief that hung on that cross beside Jesus. Thank God when he recognized who Jesus was. Thank you, Lord. He says, this man don't even deserve what he's getting, but me and you do, ain't that right? Thank God, that's what he said. Thank God, he said, Lord, remember me. Come on, somebody just say, Lord, remember me. Praise God. You know, just that right there, just recognizing Jesus. Thank God, thank you, Jesus. Thank God, Jesus said, this thing. Come on, somebody say today. He didn't say so when I get there. Thank God, it's six months from now. He said, but this day. So what I'm telling you, if you can just begin to thank God right now. If you can just begin to praise God right now. I'm talking about a thief. Can you save me? I'm talking about a thief that was guilty. Thank God, we've been guilty, haven't we? Thank God that Jesus says this day. When you just lift your hands and you recognize Jesus and say, Lord, thank God, I'm sorry. Praise God. Come on, help me tonight. I mean, you don't tell the truth. It's just that simple. Thank God. It's just, we can move right on. This thing's not hard. Thank God if you don't make it that way. If we we'll just obey the word, somebody say the word of God's real. And it's true. Thank you, Jesus. No matter what they try to put on it or how they try to turn it, praise God tonight. The word of God is what's going to carry you through. Can you say amen? So praise God tonight. If we can do like that one leopard boy did. And just praise him for what he's doing. Thank God not worry about saying I was sick. Thank God don't tell him. Don't sit there and worry about telling the bad side of it. But just say I'm healed. Can you say amen? Praise God. Just say I'm healed. Praise the Lord. Thank God he said by my stripes. What do you say? Come on. Don't nobody know the word of God? What do you say? Thank God you're healed. He took the stripes on his back so we could be healed. Ain't that right? Praise God. He stealed the blood that he shed that day. Thank God it's for me and you. The stripes he took was for me and you. The word of God said he was a man that never knew no sin. Can you say amen? Thank God. So he took mine and your sin. He took mine and your sickness. Praise God. Thank God. But if you could just believe it tonight, if you just trust God tonight, thank God there's no sin, no sickness. Thank God can have no, no time over you. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands. Thank God and say, Lord, I believe it tonight. Thank God if you really believe it, lift your hands and say, Lord, I believe your word. And that's what I'm going to go by. Praise God. Brother Brian, come around tonight. Thank God you and Sister Lau. Praise God and just testify. Obey the Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. My God, somebody just say, Lord, thank you for waking me up. Praise God. Praise the Lord, saints. I say, praise the Lord, saints. Hallelujah. I just thank the Lord for being here. Hallelujah. I take my vacation every year just to be here. I can't think of a better vacation than to be in the presence of God and hearing the word of God, doing the word of God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for my Journey, Lord, you brought me from the heart of my way, of my long way. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you for my journey. Lord, you brought me from the heart of my long way, of my long way. Lord, I thank you, Lord, I thank you for my journey. 
thanks, God. Somebody say thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. You know, if God just quits talking to you, thank God that it's over, amen. Thank God, but Lord, He's still talking to you. Thank God and telling you, son, get this. Get right, amen. Praise God. Praise God. Then we can thank God. We know He's still having something to do with us. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say praise the Lord. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. How many is just glad to be saved? Just glad to be saved, knowing Jesus. Thank God your name being written in the Lamb Book of Life. How many is just can say, Lord, I thank you for being saved. Not for your new house and your new cars and all that, but just say, Lord, I just thank you for being saved. Thank God that means it all, don't it? Praise God. Thank God. We don't get Sister Ruth to come around tonight. Praise the Lord. And thank God. Sing. Praise God. I want you to stand to your feet. Somebody say praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody say hallelujah.
said, let me tell you about my Lord. And the little woman looked at him and she said, he's my Lord too. I said, well, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, lift your hands tonight. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God we don't come to you in offering tonight. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I ask you to help support this trip, this revival. Praise God. Whatever God lays on your heart tonight, I pray that you obey God. Thank God. Let God speak to you tonight. Thank God. Whatever it may be, thank God. I want you to obey God tonight. Make your conscience clear. Amen. Because we are going to get ready to receive the Word of God tonight. Praise God. So if you've got something you'd like to give tonight, thank God. And, you know, help carry this, this ministry. Thank God. But the Word of God, what I'm talking about, carry this Word. Thank God to somebody in need. Praise God. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank God. You know, this year we didn't get our tent lot in Mobile. And thank God we kind of got a slow start off. But thank God we had, the, like I told you last night, we had revival in the parking lot. Praise God. Thank God, just a determination to do something for the Lord. So thank God. So this is really the, the first tent revival of this season. Thank God. And thank God we need your help. Praise God. So let the Lord speak to you tonight. Thank God. Get something. Put your hands on something as they play something. Thank God. And thank God. Bring it up here and put it in these buckets. And I know the, thank God, man and woman of God's going to put it to use. Can you say amen? Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. If you ain't got it to give, that's all right. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. But if you do, thank God we thank God for it. Ain't that right? Praise the Lord. Praise God. Just obey the Lord tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God we ain't in no hurry now. I don't think we're in a hurry tonight. Because that man of God, when he comes out here to preach the word, he's going to thank God take his time. Because I know there's some people here who's got a need tonight. Thank God we're just going to take our time. Thank God and let God have His way. Ain't that right? Somebody lift your hands and say, Lord, just have your way. Like that one little actress said, Lord, thank you. Just say, have your way. It means something when you talk to the Lord tonight. When you say something, tell the Lord, Lord, I thank you. Someone always 10 or 12 people say, Lord, I thank you. Come on, a little louder than that. Say, Lord, I thank you. Praise God. We've got five or six in here with us tonight. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank God. Come, come on, stand to your feet tonight. Thank God. The sister Cheryl gets ready to come back. Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. Everybody, all minds put in this part of the service tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Come on and get ready to put your hands together. And if you have a need, thank God. I want you to just tell the Lord about your need right now. Thank God. Go ahead and tell the Lord what you have need of.
Lord. 
world, this nation, upside down. The, all this old church world has went into this twisted grace message. Yeah, that's right. Salvation without repentance. Oh. Ain't no salvation without repentance. Oh. You gotta repent. Yeah. Yeah. Why did he say there, my people which would repent? Yeah, right. Then will I hear from heaven, that's forgive right. their sins, right. heal the land. Yeah. Jesus said in the book of Luke, repent and believe the gospel. Repent and believe the gospel. But you had all this twisted grace. And people people are swallowed, hooked, blind, and sinker. Going away from the gospel. Going away from old-fashioned holiness. Righteousness. Living right. Spitting right. Dressing right. But I know that holiness is still right. I see one that believes it too. I said, holiness is still right. But we don't preach that stuff no more. But the Bible's still right. Folks preach it or not preach it. They're going to be judged from malpractice. God told me you're going to judge the preachers from malpractice. You know what that is? It's like a, doc a doctor prescribing you the wrong medicine. That's right. Or taking out the wrong eye. Or cutting off the wrong leg. That's what you call malpractice. That's right, brother. And preachers get up here and play with the Word of God. Not preach it. The Word of God like it is. That's malpractice. And God's going to judge people. He's going to judge the preachers. I said, he's going to judge preachers for malpractice. Not preaching what the people need. Not crying aloud. And sparing not. Lifting up the voice like a trumpet. He said, show my people their sins. And the house of Jacob. Their transgression of the house of Jacob their sins. It's time to cry aloud. Spare not. The Lord said he's going to judge preachers from malpractice. That's right. Not preaching what they're supposed to preach. Holding back Amen. for money. Preaching what people want to hear. Amen. Prophesying good things and smooth things. Go ahead. They're lying to people. Yeah. Tell them what they want to hear. Right. But we don't need to hear what we want to hear. We need to, we, want, we need to hear the word of God. That's what we need to hear. We need a change in this nation. We need a change in the church. We need a old fashioned altar call where our churches are filled with altar calls where people are turning back to God. That's a great call in the way. And Paul said, that the man of sin wouldn't be revealed except there come a falling away from us. Well, that falling away has happened. That's why the man of sin is being revealed like he is. That's why the whole world is one and after the beast. The Antichrist. That old communistic spirit. Same thing as steering out of Washington. We, we've we been sold out by our leaders. Amen. We've been sold out by our leaders. To China. And anybody else that buys. Man, the world out there is slopping up America like biscuits and syrup. They're buying up everything, building all the big gas stations, and all the big plants. And yeah. They get that tax-free money. They're coming in our borders, are wide open for the Chinese and for the Al-Qaeda, for our enemies. You can't open your doors for your enemies. 
They're going to outsmart you. They're going to place people. I heard this old general, retired general the other day, said, you might as well better get some water and get some food up because said, said China's fixing to start hitting us like Al-Qaeda did. Amen. See, China's got a puppet president in Washington. They own our president. Lock, stock, and bear. They own our president. He sold out to them for the money. Him and his family. They're investigating it. And they're unraveling all this. They've been getting millions and millions of dollars. No telling what they gave them. How many, what kind of our secrets that they gave to them for all that money. We're in trouble tonight. We need revival. I said we're in trouble tonight. We need revival. We're falling. America's falling to China. So when I don't see it, you get to pray and you'll see it. Get to calling on God. There have been a time that we need to pray. It's time we pray, people. Get a hold of God. You don't realize what it is. We took over. By communists. Ruthless people. You got no heart. There's one power, this greater power than China. And I was praying around here last night. Bring them down, Lord. Bring China down. Crush them. Crush that evil nation. Bring them to their knees, Lord. Crush this evil. Have mercy on us. Save us from our enemies. It's time to pray. God, save us from our enemies. Have mercy upon us. You know, in Bible times, not everybody. There was a lot of prophets in Jeremiah's day, but they wasn't speaking what was going on. There were a lot of so-called prophets in Jeremiah's day, but they were not warning the people like Jeremiah was. He was telling them like it was. You know what they did? They said, we're going to kill you. You're going to die. We're going to put you to death for prophesying against us. People don't want to be told the truth. They don't want to be told that the nation's been taken over. So they threatened him, said, we're going to put you to death. He said, you may put me to death, but no one thing, you're going to answer to God. I told y'all the truth. I told y'all the truth. Most preachers now, they done sold out. They done sold out. They're living a worldly life. Yes, sir. I said they're living a worldly life. Right when, where everything else going, you find God's people right in the middle of them. He said, come out of her. Come out of her, my people. You find the world down the beach, the strip. You find the church, the pastors, and their wives. A whole bunch of them down there. No separate, no difference anymore. That's right. You know, used to the Catholic is the only one that dances in the churches. I said, used to only the Catholic that dances in the churches, but in the Pentecostals are having them now. I went to church and up in the mountains in Tennessee, I believe it was, or somewhere up in there. Not too long after that, I was, my wife said, look into, t- into them people where we went. I looked and I said, yeah, that's him. And they was having a sweetheart dance, two-stepping in the church. 
some of them fell out right there on the almost fall. But it's having a sweetheart dance. Well, what's wrong with that? He said, come out of her. See, the church ain't, ain't no different from the world anymore. And that's why there ain't nothing standing up for America. Reason America was strong because America had praying people that believed in living right. Stood up for what's right. Got that poor pit and divided. False. Good from evil. They divided. They draw the line in the sand. God help us. It's time to wake up. Go back to God. Go back to holiness. Go back. Peter said, Be ye holy, God said, for I'm holy. Didn't he? Matthew 5 and 48. He said, Be ye therefore perfect. Even your Father which is in heaven is perfect. And I know we can never be perfect without the blood of Jesus, but the blood of Jesus will make you perfect. It'll cleanse you. You stay before God and have a prayer life. It'll keep you clean. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah! Amen. But you know where the time the preachers can't even afford to preach homeless. they lose the job. Like I said, man didn't hire me. Man can't fire me. Man didn't call me. Man didn't send me. Man don't take care of me. God does. Hallelujah. I said God takes care of me. But we're in a day and a time that we need to wake up. Stir ourselves. You know, Samson kept waking up. But he kept going back in the same condition. Putting his head right back in Delilah's lap. Winding up right back in the same position. As it was the last time. And it's time to come out and stay out. It's time to wake up and stay away. He said, wherefore, awaken thou that sleep. Didn't he? Rise from the dead. And Paul said in Romans 13, and knowing the time, it's high time to wake out of sleep. For now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. The night is far spent, and the day is at hand. Let us cast off, he said, the works of darkness. That's sin. That's worldliness. Let us cast off the works of darkness. Do you know the churches now are bending and bound to homosexual marriage? They can't afford to say nothing. They'll lose the people. All this old transgender. Preachers are quiet. That's been years ago. They've been a whole bunch of preachers in jail tonight. Man, something like this bringing darkness on a nation and the preachers ain't saying nothing. We're in trouble. See, the Word of God's what stops the devil from taking over a nation. The Word of God standing up. Preachers standing up and declaring God's Word when the Jeremiah stood up. We need men to stand up. Instead of standing up, saying in the thing now, they're all going to the beaches. World entertainment. Concerts. Man, you can't tell some of these so-called Christian concerts. You can from the June jam. Same spirit. 
You don't know who they're singing about. Some of them songs, he and him, and who you're talking about. Talk about, you're going to sing about Jesus. Call his name. Call his name. But it's that old crossover music. It's that old crossover songs that you can take them any way you want to take them. In love with a woman somewhere, a man, or in love with Jesus. Uh-uh. That ain't the way it goes. That ain't holy enough to praise God with. I said, that ain't holy enough. You got to have your eyes and your mind set on Jesus. You can't praise him in lust. I said you can't praise him in lust. All them old songs, power in the blood, send the light, amazing grace. All them old songs about done away with. One preacher said we got to do away with all them old blood songs. Man, that's the songs we need. Don't ever do. Don't ever get rid of the blood. For if you get rid of the blood, you hopeless. Without the blood, there's no remission or sin. Don't ever let nobody cause you to turn your back on the blood. The blood of Jesus. He said, we're going to get rid of more blood songs because folks, they want prosperity now. Yeah, I don't know. Well, that's where the man of God needs to stand up. All across this nation. And men of God would stand up and begin to cry out loud. And spare not. It would turn this communistic spirit back. It would turn send China back to Asia. God's word will do it. His power will do it. Hallelujah. There's a man of God in the Bible that led a whole army. Blinding their eyes. He said, go this way. They were looking for him. He said, I'll take it to the man you're looking for. It was him talking to him. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. They surround me. That's about me. He said, yeah, I'll take you. Follow me. They followed him right on down. He was the one they were looking for. He was the one that the king sent. Sent him to get. He led him right on down. In the Samaria. And he opened his eyes. He said, Lord, open your eyes. He got him down in, in his home turf. He got him back in his hometown. And he said, now, Lord. Open their eyes, let them see where they are. He popped their eyes open and looked around, they were right downtown. City of God. Hallelujah. And the king of Israel said, Oh Lord, talking to the prophet, said, You want me to uh, slay them? He said, No, don't slay them, feed them, and send them home. They whooped. They whooped. Man, when their eyes was open, they realized what had happened. That was the man that they were looking for. Praise God and the power of God. Hallelujah. They captured them. Took them captive. And ain't nothing the power of God can do. I said, ain't nothing the power of God can't do. But we got to believe in it. We can't be off out there in the middle of the world and believing in the power of God. Man, we got to make our mind. We got to make a choice. We got to choose you this day, he said, whom you're going to serve. We got to make up our mind whether it's Jesus or the world. I said, whether it's Jesus or the world. 
I want to follow him. What about you? I said, I want to follow him. Glory. Thank you, Jesus. God's word will stand up. It stood up to Jeremiah. They told Amos, said, don't drop your word over here. It's too much. Take it over yonder. So don't break your word over here. So we can't stand it. We can't handle it. Take it over yonder somewhere. He was dropping that word on sin. He was bombing sin. Hallelujah. I said he was bombing them hell houses. He was putting bombs on them. He was dropping that word on those wicked kings. He was speaking that word against those wicked people. I'm telling you, God's going to come out on top. And the real church is coming out on top. The real church of Jesus Christ is going to come out on top. You have your Bibles turn with us to Jeremiah chapter 25. How many appreciates the Word of God? But if men would just stand up, just stand up with God's Word, begin to declare. That's what kept America safe. You know, the downfall of a nation is when the pulpit compromises. As long as God's Word is going out there, It'll keep the devil at bay. It'll keep Satan driven back. All through these years, it ain't been our bombs and jets and our military power. It's been our God. That's where our strength was. Our strength has been in our God. In Jesus Christ. That's where our strength. You start opening the doors. And letting everybody come in here and build temples and mosques and anything they want to build. And the nation begin to fall. You know, God didn't, didn't put America together. Well, you know what they say? Well, for freedom of worship. Yeah, worship who? Buddha? No. Mohammed? No. Free to worship Jesus. People fled to this country from all over the world to have freedom to worship Jesus. Not Mohammed. They could have stayed where they was. The Buddha. They could have stayed where they was. But it was the Buddhists and the Muslims that was persecuting the Christians. The people come from all over the world where they can worship God in freedom, not Buddha. They didn't leave over there to come over to worship Buddha or to worship Mohammed. They come to worship Jesus. They said to open the doors, just like they're doing now. Doors are wide open for our enemies. You don't open your doors for your enemy. I remember we used to sleep on the porch. Hot. Didn't have no air conditioner. Probably didn't have a fan. We sleep on the porch. Now you better not sleep on no porch. Can you say, man? Thanks is in a mess. We need God. We need a Holy Ghost revival. God's power to stand up across America and these cities one more time. Old-fashioned revival. Well, in huge tents and there'd be more outside than there was inside. We're falling. I'm afraid God's give America a cup and he's forcing us to drink it because of the route we're taking. 
in our schools. Look at what they're doing. They're teaching little kids it's all right to transgender. It's all right, be a boy. If you want to be a girl, a girl, I want to be a boy. That's what they're teaching. You think God's pleased with this? Churches are receiving it. Churches ain't even speaking out against homosexuals. Married. Two men marry. God never did intend for two men to marry. There ain't no matrimony between two men. There ain't no matrimony between two women. There ain't nothing holy or right between two women. It's an abomination. I said an abomination. Before God. He hated it so until he he burned up Sodom and Gomorrah. Set it on fire and burned it up. But our schools, our churches, preachers are accepting this. They're saying it's all right. God loves them too. God don't love perverse. He loves the soul of man, but he don't love their sin. You got to come to Jesus. He that comes to me, how in no wise cast them out. We got to wake up and get back to God, America. We got to wake up and return to God. People falling. Churches and preachers are falling. They're giving over to this stuff. They're afraid to cry out. Afraid of what the price might be. I don't know what the price might be. I really don't. But I know it cost my brother something. It cost Jeremiah and Paul and Peter and all of them. It cost them. Others since then. Man, there have been more folks died for this gospel. Heads chopped off. Heads chopped off. They chopped Paul's head off with an axe. Because he wouldn't hush. Because he wouldn't quit. He stood up. And that word prevailed. See, God's word will prevail. You get enough preachers standing up. With all these old malpractice preachers don't answer to God. They're going to answer to God. Like a, a doctor, a lawyer that's crooked. They call him quacks. That's right. Quack doctor. Get right. right. sued for malpractice. Preachers. Before God, don't answer to God because they won't stand up. Knowing what to do and not doing it. I was a he that know to do right, do it and not to him is a sin. Yeah. He said, in order to time, it is high time. Wake out of sleep. Now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. Nights far spent, the days at hand. Let us cast off the works of darkness and put on the arm of light. Walk circumspect. Yes. Not as fools, but redeem the time. The day is near. The time is at the door. Hallelujah. Do you believe that tonight? Amen. Listen what he said. Jeremiah chapter 25. And the Lord has sent unto you all his servants, the prophets, rising early, sending them, but ye have not a heart, but incline your ear 
neither turn your ear to hear. They said, turn your again. Now everyone from this evil way and from the evil of your doings and dwell in the land that the Lord has given to you and to your fathers forever and ever. And go not after other gods to serve them. Let me know just what's happened. People going after other gods. Amen. Gods of this world. That's what happened to Israel. They begin to worship the gods of the world. Amen. Idol worship. Come on. They begin to worship idols. Amen. History says that And Jeremiah says, remember Shiloh. Remember what I've done to Shiloh. Go back and study history. The ark was taken from Shiloh. God's presence was taken away. The ark of the covenant was taken away. When God got ready to send it, bring the ark of the covenant back to his people, that glory, that word, and that power. He never brought it back to Shiloh. My God. My God, Lord. They place his God's left when he'll never come back. My God, preacher. My God, Jesus. But you know what? The Bible, the, the history says this. The people sat around Shiloh waiting for the ark to come back, but it never did. Man, I'll tell you one thing. God will have mercy on me. I ain't gonna lay around nowhere. The ark ain't coming back. I ain't gonna lay around where the Holy Ghost ain't coming back. I'm not gonna lay around and wait on something to come that ain't never gonna come. I wanna know I'm in the right place. I want to know I'm where God wants me. I want to know I'm not waiting in vain. History says they waited. They sat around shallow and waited for the ark to come back. For God to bring the ark back. That's why he said that in Jeremiah. Remember what I did to shallow. He warned them. He warned them. There's a new crop coming. There's a new crop coming. God's going to raise up a new crop. But that don't mean He's going to bring it. Where the ark is left. We're going to have to pray and know where to be. To be in God's will. To be where God wants us to be. So when that glory returns, see that ark represented the glory of God. Inside that ark of the covenant, what was the, the Ten Commandments, the Word of God? Inside that ark was, was a pot, a manna, the bread. And also in that ark of the covenant was Aaron's rod. That bread, that anointing, that chosen anointing. Hallelujah. 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 God always be real to somebody. God always be real to somebody somewhere. The people would pray. Revival's coming somewhere. Revival's coming somewhere where there's a new crop coming. I said there's a new crop coming. Told me right down here. I said, Lord, what about the old people? He said, You tell them to come back to my feet. He said, I'll renew them. And they can run with the young ones. When God gets to moving, people start coming from everywhere. They start popping in from everywhere. And you can go out on a porch. I remember the time of revival, you go out on a porch. And you get 150 or 200 in the yards. People was hungry. Hallelujah. People was hungry. Glory. Getting saved under conviction. Come to get 
get saved. You know, folks used to come to church to get saved. They come looking for something. That was under conviction. And they would come to get saved. God bring us back to that time where folks will come to church to get saved. God working on them. I said, God working on them. They waited around shallow. They camped. The Bible said they camped around shallow. Waiting for the Ark of the Covenant to return. But God took it somewhere else to a new place. It ain't our will. It ain't what we want. It's what He wants. I'm looking for God's will tonight. He means looking for God's will. He means He wants to be in His will. Lord, I don't want to miss it. And I don't want to fool around with my flesh and miss it. If God's under the bridge, I want to be under the bridge. I want to be camping out under the bridge. And I don't have to have a motor home or travel trailer. My God, just let me know where God is. Where are you going to move, Lord? Let me know in time where I can pack my bags and get there on time. So when it falls, I want to be on the first fruits. Hallelujah. I want to be in the midst of the first fruits. Of this revival. We cannot dictate God. They waited and camped out. Around Shiloh. God took the ark of the covenant to another place. But they still stayed there. Until they died. Waiting. Probably never did. Probably never did. Think. Let me ask God, is he coming back? <laughs> let me ask God, are you coming back? Lord, if you're not, tell me where I know what to do. I'm moving on. Wherever you are. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. America needs revival, children. God, help us tonight. God help us tonight. Somebody's going to see the glory of God. Somebody's going to see the glory and the power and going to experience the signs and the wonders and the miracles. All that the children of Israel saw, you know, they went right out in the wilderness and died circling around. Canaan land was a short distance over there. But God wouldn't take them in in their condition. They wouldn't repent. My God. They wouldn't get their hearts right. God kept circling them. Jesus. And they said that they passed that path to Canaan land 1,300 times in 40 years. I guess they didn't see it. God didn't reveal it to them. If God don't reveal it, that path to you, to Him, to draw you, open up that, you understand it, Open up your heart to know how to seek Him. Yes. We know we need to seek Him, but we need to know how to yes. seek Him. Yes. What do you want me to do, Lord? Yes. How do you want me to seek Him? Yes. You know, Beverly, Beverly climbed up the hollow log. Alan went in the closet. Brother right. Brandon went in the cabin. One man nailed himself, went to his church office and took a two before and nailed his door shut. Nobody couldn't get in that to him. Hallelujah. 30 days inside that little office with a door nail. I can't take it no more. I gotta have God. I've got to get a hold of some of this generation. Needs a real God. Yeah, we got church everywhere. Church, 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 church. Preacher, preacher. We got these malpractice promoter short wearing preachers. I said these malpractice promoter short wearing preachers. We got them everywhere. 
God's looking for him a man. God's looking for him somebody that would sell out. Count everything as lost. Like Paul did. Sell out for Jesus. Praise God. There got to be a line drawn. People just go back and go back and go back. You can't tell them from the world. They're right out there in the middle of the world. They're right out there in the places that the world goes. The holy church used to didn't go out there. The church that had power. The church that prayed. Used to didn't go out in them old worldly places. Well, some of y'all ain't swallowing that too good. Man, we need God. We're falling. We're falling. This nation is crumbling. Amen. No worldly spirit. All of the preachers. You ain't gonna go for so far. If you got no worldly spirit on you, you ain't gonna do much damage at all. Your little preaching to be so light, so shallow, so light. Be no sincere to no depths. No awakening. No stirring. No altar calls. And we need some altar calls. We need men to pray everywhere. Lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubt. Help us, God. Help us. Help us. Wake us up, Lord. Wake us up. They all got that same little sound. Most of all them preaching out there and people just eating it up. They all got that same little sound. They're using them same little words. Like on TV preachers, you know. They get to use them same little words. You just hear it. You hear it. It makes you sick. It makes your spirit sick. You, you try to connect. You, you, you try to fellowship and I try to connect. A lot of times I'm home, got a few days off, but you, you can't make yourself swallow something. That your spiritual digestive system is throwing it back up. Say, so, Lord, I, I want to fellowship, I, I want to be a part, but if it ain't right, if it ain't right, we don't need to be a part of it. We don't need to digest, try to digest something that's trying to come back up before we get it swallowed down. They've all got that same little old sound. Certain sound. You just see it. You hear it. You hear them words. That same little curl. Yeah. You think, Lord, am I hearing the same one? Looks like a different person, but sound like I'm listening to the same one. Got them all in the same. They're all venturing out. A little bit more and a little bit more. There's no wrong anymore. There's no sin. There's no line drawn. And the church is weak. Backslid. And it's acceptable. I said it's acceptable. The preacher said, we're going, we, we got to get rid of all these old blood songs. We don't need to get rid of all the old blood songs. We need to sing them like we never sung them before. Lord, we need the blood of Jesus everywhere. And you say, man. Hallelujah. That same preacher went up there to send him to God, sent him to Oklahoma City to build a church. And he sitting at the table with one of my kin folks. He knew this other pastor that knew him. And that's when he was telling him, he said, he said, you know, we gotta get rid of all these old blood songs. He said folks won't want that no more. He said people want prosperity. But you know God didn't call us to preach what people want. He called us to preach the word. What people need. If you go to 
doctor and trust in the doctor. He don't give you what you want. He tries to diagnose your sickness and give you what you need. Well, that's what God does. He, di he diagnoses our sickness. And He said, I sent my word and I healed them. So it takes God's word to heal us. Amen. Amen. And he said, we've got to get rid of all these old blood songs so people won't prosper. And my cousin said, well, what, 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 the, what about the scripture? He said, without the shedding of blood, God always have somebody somewhere to face you. Face you off. He said, what about the scripture? said, Without the shedding of the blood, there's no remission of sin. He said, well, 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 well. Couldn't do nothing with the Word. That's right. He called me back later, about six months later. He said, you know, that preacher told you, come to build that big church. He built that big church. And said there was a young man got killed on a motorcycle in this church. And said, I went there and there's about 900 thousand young people and said he didn't one time mention Jesus or heaven. Never one time mentioned salvation. And said I looked and he had a fifth of whiskey on the altar one end and another fifth one and one on the pulpit. And that's the one that said we need to get rid of all the blood songs. There ain't no limit to where the devil won't take you if you turn your back on the blood. He'll take you where you'll never get back. No doubt he'll never get back. No doubt he'll never get back from that journey. Fill with whiskey one on one spot and one that one in the pulpit and said he's up there today having a good old time talking about drinking. And God don't have nothing to do with this kind of junk. It's abomination for a man to get in the pulpit and say such junk, trying to be accepted. What happened? No doubt he may one time have the truth or the true seed in him. But the Bible said, Paul said, because there wasn't a love of the truth, God shall send them strong delusion. They believe a lie and be damned. He didn't say they'd believe a lie and repent. He said they'd be down. There'd be no return. When you turn your back on the truth and walk away. And fall out of love with it. See, it's a difference about if you just fall. It's a difference in just falling. You still know the Bible the Bible. You still know the truth is the truth. And you refuse to ever say anything about the truth. It's a difference from those that fall out of love with the truth. These preachers are still preaching that fell out of love with the truth and they're no longer preaching the truth. They watered it down. They sugarcoated it. They fell out of love with the truth. And he said for this cause, God shall send them strong news. And they believe a lie. They believe that that delusion is the truth. And they believe in a lie. And he said they'd be down. And they'd wake up and it'd be like Noah's generation. They woke up when it started raining. They woke up and they looked up and they saw the ark door shut. I'm sure them 120 years building that boat and saw that door open. But when it was shut, there was a different feeling in the earth. When that door was shut, I promise you there was a different feeling over all the earth. All hope to be saved was gone for good. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The door was shut. And that's when their eyes, no doubt, was open. They probably run and knocked on that door. Let me in. But you know, Noah didn't shut the door. God did. God shut the door. Noah built the ark, but God shut the door. 
God had control of the flood and the boat. Can you say man? Amen. Running, running, knocking on that ark. Let me in, let me in. Yeah. Too late. Uh -huh. My God, Lord. The waters are rising. Oh, yeah. But it's too late. Yes, sir. Jesus. Let's don't wait too late to pray, America. My God, Lord. Let's don't wait too late to get back to God. Jesus. Time to wake up and repent. Yeah. Stand on your feet with me. Time to wake up and repent. Oh, and get a hold of God. Heaven knows it's time to get a hold of God. Lift your hands and say, Lord, I want to, I want to get a hold of you. I don't want to take it lightly. Oh, I don't want to take it lightly, Lord. Help me tonight. Help me to humble myself at your feet and pray. Oh, Jesus. Lift your hands to him tonight. Come on, lift your hands to the Lord. Tell him you need him. I need you tonight. Lord, I need you tonight. Oh, Jesus. I need you tonight. Hallelujah. Touch my soul. Turn me around. Wake me up, Lord. Don't let me sleep to sleep with death like this generation is doing. Lord, don't let my eyes be blinded. Lord, open my eyes, let me see. Oh, Jesus, help me. Let's get out of these chairs and let's come to these altars tonight. Come. Let's come and pray. Oh, let's come and pray. God, you just help us, Lord. I know you want to help us, Lord. But God, I want you to help me. Come on and tell me, Lord, I want you. I need you. Oh, wake me, Lord. Wake me. Wake me, Jesus. Wake me. Stir me, Lord. Stir me. God, I've been trying to stir folks in dreams and visions. Oh, Lord Jesus. Let's let him stir us tonight. Oh, let's let him get a hold of us tonight. Come on and pray. Come on, let's cry out to God. Come on, let's cry out to God. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Oh, God. Lord Jesus, Lord, I know God. Oh, Lord, the only thing I know to do is ask for mercy. God, and ask you, Lord, to help your people. Oh, Lamb of God, as the Word was telling us, Lord, God, there's nobody howling out to get sin anymore, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, Jesus, Lord, there was one thing, Lord, God, that you could be guaranteed when you'd go to the house of God, if you had sin in your life, Lord, that Word was going to expose it, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, you've got people, Lord, that's sitting in churches, Lord. They're not being taught right from wrong, Lord. God, they're being told, Lord, that it's all right to sin. Whoa, God, but Jesus, you've got pastors that's leading whole congregations to hell, Lord. God, we're asking tonight, Lord, that you help them. God, help them. Lord, help those people, Lord, that are blind, God. Lord, give them an opportunity, Lord. God, before it's too late, Jesus. God, I know there's a lot of folks, Lord, that don't believe, Lord, that they can walk into a service and it be their last service, Lord. There's a lot of people, Lord, don't believe, Lord. God, that you'll turn them over to judgment, Lord. God, they only want to preach the love side, Lord. God, they don't want to tell nobody to warn anybody, Lord. That is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of a living God. Well, Lamb of God, that ever since a child, Lord, God, I've been taught to fear you, Lord. God, I know what it's like to feel, Lord. God, that fear, Lord, that would fall on the audience, Lord. Well, Lamb of God, 
Father, people would weep and cry and travail, Lord. Lay in the altars, Lord. But oh, heaven, God, now, Lord. God, people like they did in the days that Stephen, God, began to preach, Lord. They stopped their ears up and said, I don't have to hear it. But God, whether they hear it or not, Lord. God, if the Word of God falls, Lord, like it was to Amos, Lord, whatever he preached, Lord. God, whatever fell, Lord. God, whatever happened, Lord, that's what happened, Lord. God, it didn't matter, Lord. God, it didn't change, Lord. It didn't change the Word of God, Lord. God, they didn't want to listen to Jeremiah, Lord. God, many of the false prophets, Lord, would stand up, Lord, and prophesy something contrary, Lord, to what Jeremiah was prophesying, Lord. But it didn't change the Word of God. Oh, Lamb of God, it didn't change it. Oh, Lamb of God, you got false prophets today, Lord. God preaching peace and safety. God, you got false prophets today prophesying contrary, Lord, to what you're saying, Lord. But God, on the way, Lord, God, your word is going to prevail, Lord. God, you told me a few weeks ago, Lord, that your word would prevail, Lord. God, there ain't enough devils in hell, Lord. God, there's not enough false prophets, Lord, to change the word of one true prophet, Lord. There's not enough false prophets out there, God. They can prophesy day and night, Lord. But all it takes is for one true prophet, Lord, to stand in the midst of them, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Jesus, we read, Lord, in the Bible, Lord. Oh, God, a king wanted somebody to tell him what he wanted to hear, whether to go up and pursue or not. Lord, all those false prophets told him to go ahead, Lord. Oh, Lord, when they asked, is there anyone left? He said, I've got one left, but I hate him. He don't never tell me nothing any good. But oh, Lamb of God, he was a real man of God. God, that's the way it is today, Lord. God, that pastor that preaches the truth, Lord. God, he don't have but a handful of people, Lord, that'll come and sit and listen, Lord. God, that man of God, that Lord Jesus will stand up and tell people the word of God, Lord. There ain't many people want to support him anymore, Lord. But oh, Lamb of God, somewhere, Lord, that word that comes out of their mouth, Lord. Somewhere, God, that word of God that comes out, Lord. God, it will come to pass, Lord, whether people want to hear it or not, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, many people think, well, if the Word is cutting, if the Word of God is coming forth in a hard word, I don't want to go sit under it. But God, the only chance they have, Lord, is to let that Word fall on them, Lord. God, to let that Word come and sit under it, Lord. God, that they can get some help, Lord. The Bible said, fall on the stone and be broken. Unless you fall on the stone and it grinds you to powder. Oh, Lamb of God, help us tonight, God, to fall on the stone tonight, Lord. God, and be broken, Lord. Oh, God, don't let that stone fall on us, Lord, and grind Find us the powder tonight, Lord. Oh, Lord, we're in that day, God, where people have engineers, Lord, tell me something good. Prophesy to me something good. God, they want somebody to prophesy blessings on them, Lord. But God, you told us you're not going to put a blessing on a sin. You're not going to, God, you're not going to bless sin. God, people will line up, Lord. God, around the tent, God. All the way on the outside, Lord. Just for somebody to prophesy something good to them, Lord. Whether it's true or not, Lord. God, I want the real Word of God. I'd rather have my eyes open, Lord. I'd rather be warned, Lord. I'd rather have a chance, God, to get in the altar, God. And pray, Lord. And repent of my sins, Lord. And get it right, Lord. Oh, God, then to go on. Go on in my sin, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, I'd rather have an opportunity, Lord. God, to, God, to pray through, Lord. 
I'd rather have an opportunity, Lord. God, to get it right, Lord. God, I'd rather be told, Lord. I'd rather be corrected, God, than to just go on, Lord, with nobody warning me, God. God, there's been many people, Lord. God said, why didn't you tell me? Why didn't you warn me, Lord? But God, they had word after word, Lord. And God, they despised and rejected it, Lord. There's going to be many crying, Lord, saying, why didn't somebody tell me? And God, they're going to see, God, the opportunities, Lord. They're going to see the tent services that they drove by and just went on down the road, Lord. They're going to see that little church, Lord. God, that they drove by and wouldn't go sit under the Word of God. They're going to see that preacher, Lord, that warned them and cried out to them, Lord. Oh, love them, God. While the blood's still warm in our veins, Lord. God, while we still got an opportunity, God. God, to pray through tonight, God. Help us, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Lord, people don't sometimes realize the seriousness of the hour, Lord. God, if that rich young ruler would have realized what service he was heading to that morning, oh, he would have prayed through and got his spirit right. He figured, I'll just go sit down in one of Jesus' services. I've got everything right. Oh, Lord. If he would have just stayed at the house and prayed a little bit. If he would just came to the altar a little bit. God, that rich young ruler didn't know that day when he left the house. Lord Jesus, that he was going to turn and walk away, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. God, people come to church with any old kind of attitude, God. Nonchalant, Lord. But God, this is not just another service, Lord. God, you're not just speaking to hear God. God, to speak, Lord. But you're trying to help us, Lord. Oh, Lord, he stood before you, Jesus. Oh, and he said he felt that he was justified. He began to tell you everything that he had right. But oh, Jesus, he was looking at what he had wrong in his heart. Oh, Lord, you told him, you said, listen, you seen that he had much riches. You said, go sell everything that you've got. Oh, the Bible said that he turned and walked away sorrowful. I don't believe he ever came back, Lord. You don't get up to the door of the kingdom of heaven. You don't get right at the door of the kingdom of heaven when your door was swung open and then rejected and didn't come back, Lord. God, there's many people tonight, God, that's got things in our hearts, Lord. God, I don't want to let something, God, God, catch me unaware somewhere. I don't want to run into a word, Lord, in one of these services, God, and I turn away and walk away. Lord, I want to get my heart right, Lord. Oh, God, I've heard many people make this statement. Oh, I know what's in my heart, but God, the Bible says that our hearts would deceive us. Who can know these hearts? God, we got to be careful, Lord. All I can say, God, if there's something down inside of there, God, if there's something in my heart tonight, God, that would cause me to miss heaven, Lord. If there's something in my heart tonight, God, that would cause me to miss uh, this outpouring of the Spirit of God, uh, this fresh anointed God, uh, this fresh Holy Ghost revival, Lord. I'm asking you to help me to purge it out, Lord. God, purge me with His of God. Purge me with the Word of God. Lord, wash me by the washing of the water of the word, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Lord, you've been dealing with me, Lord, about taking services lightly, Lord. Oh, God. Wake us up, Lord. Oh, God, like the word told us tonight, Lord. It didn't matter how long they waited there in Shiloh. It didn't matter how many evangelists they brought into Shiloh. You done changed your mind, Lord. God, there's many churches, Lord, that the word Ichabob has been run over the door, Lord. It don't matter who comes in, Lord. God, you done left it, Lord. And God, I don't want you to leave me tonight, God. I don't want you to turn and leave me tonight, Lord. Oh, help us to wake up, Lord. Help us to wake up tonight, Lord. And realize, Lord, 
that God, that you mean what you say and say what you mean, Lord. God, if you tell us there's something wrong, then that means we need to get it right, Lord. God, if you hold up that looking glass and we know it to God and you show us where we at, that means, Lord, we got to get it right, Lord. God, it don't matter, Lord, if we go find some preacher that'll tell us we're all right, Lord. God, once you exposed it, God, and showed us, God, where we were wrong. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, Lord, help us to realize, God. Lord Jesus, if we're not careful, Lord. Lord, if we don't watch, God, how we come before you, Lord. If we don't watch how we come to this house of God, Lord. God, I'm asking you, Lord, to help me not enter in, Lord. God, help me not to run into a word, Lord, that God causes me to turn around, Lord. Oh, God, I don't trust me, Lord. I'm asking you to help me, Lord. I'm asking you to God to wash me, Lord. I'm asking you, God, right now, Lord, to help me to get things right of my heart, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Lord Jesus, Lord, the day is dark. God, dark and gloomy out there, Lord. God, if people can't see, God, that we're in a mess, Lord, then, God, they better pray for the scales to be taken off their eyes. Oh, God, I've heard people don't tell me that. Don't preach that stuff. It scares me. Lord, I wish, God, we could get scared enough to pray, Lord. God, some people that went past, Lord. God, they done went so far beyond, Lord. God, that you can't reach them, Lord. Their conscience is seared, Lord. But, oh, God, I fear, Lord. God, there's a trembling and quaking, God, in my soul, Lord. Oh, God, help us, Lord. God, to turn to you, Jesus. God, with our whole hearts again, Lord. Oh, God, help us to heed these warnings, Lord. God, thank you, Lord, for opening up the altars to us, Lord. God, giving us a space to repent, Lord. God, giving us a space to come and say, Jesus, I'm seeing, Lord. I failed you. I've lost that first love. I've got holes in my vessel. Oh, God, but I'm asking you to help me. You're the potter. We're the clay, Lord. God, you can put us on that wheel and make us son. God, you can make us useful, Lord, in your kingdom, Lord. But, Lord, Jesus, like the other he keeps warning us, there's a new crop coming, Lord. And, God, the scriptures back it up. You said they'd come from the east and the west, but the children of the kingdom would be put out, Lord. God, we see it, Lord, God. God, when Paul was preaching there, Lord, God, the Jews would receive it, Lord. And, God, next time Paul came back, God, God, what they consider in the world that came in and took their place. And God Paul turned to them and said, listen, you lost your chance. You've been given your last opportunity. You showed yourself unworthy, Lord. God, many, Lord, don't know and not believe, God, that you can run into a word of God like that. But God, I believe it tonight, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus. Help us to stir and shake ourselves, Lord. God, this is just not just another tent meeting, God. These are not just other services, Lord. God, we need to realize the seriousness of the hour, Lord. Oh, Lord of God. God, a lot of people say, I'll wait till next time. I'm just too tired. But God, it could be the last chance, Lord. God, we don't need to squander these opportunities, Lord. Oh, God, but we can still come, Lord. Oh, I feel you, Lord. Oh, I feel you, Jesus. Lord, you said, I'm not always knock. I'm not always tried with man. Oh, God, we read in the Bible, God, how nonchalant Esau was. God, then we read on in the Bible and when he realized that he'd sold his birthright, when he realized that he gave his ministry up, 
Oh, and the Bible said that even though he sought it carefully with tears, he wept and cried and travailed, Lord. God, that anointed it was removed from him. God, it didn't matter, Lord. God saw it. It didn't matter, Lord. God, whether or not he'd been called or not, God, he had, God missed his opportunity. Oh, God, it didn't matter how long Samuel cried and wept over Saul. God, you spoke to Samuel and said, why are you still weeping? I've done moved on. God, don't let you move on from us, Lord. Help us, God, to call on you, Lord. God, while we still can, Lord. Oh, God, help us, Lord. We realize, Lord, you're not going to just keep on and keep on, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God, but you've given us a chance tonight. Lord, let us make full use of it, Lord. Lord, let us find that place of repentance, God. Lord, I'm not talking about with our mouths, Lord, but with our hearts. Lord, that godless sorrow, Lord. Oh, Lamb of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we give you praise. Give you glory. Come on and lift your hands to the Lord. Tell him you love him. Tell Jesus you appreciate him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Wave your hands to the Lord. Wave your hands to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
Lord, touch him tonight. Him and his wife, Lord. Ask you for divine healing. Turn their situation around. Lord, with the power of the name of above every name. In the name of Jesus, rebuke the infirmity in his body and in his, her body. Rebuke the infirmity in the name of Jesus. Be healed of the power of God through Jesus Christ and by his stripes. In the name of Jesus, be made whole. Heal of the power of God. Thank you for the healing. Thank you, Lord. Lift your hands up, praise. Thank you, Jesus. Don't you love him tonight? Come, let's come around the altar and have a word of prayer together before you leave, if you will. Let's pray for this meeting. The Lord to have his way. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God knows what he's doing. Yes, 